Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create some basic sound effects in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. And the main purpose of this tutorial is really just to let you know that there are some audio effects and sound effect presets available in After Effects. So if you need a quick sound effect, you might be able to tweak some of these effects to get a unique sound for your projects. And to add the audio effects to create the sound of the helicopter, first I created a new adjustment layer. You can right click right in the composition panel, go to new, adjustment layer. You can also do that down in the layers panel. Just right click new adjustment layer or go up to the top menu, go to layer, new adjustment layer, or use the keyboard shortcut option command Y on a Mac or alt control Y on windows. And to rename the adjustment layer, I'll tap enter or return. I'll just call it SFX for sound effects to add the audio effects. First, I'm going to drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. Then select the adjustment layer in the layers panel. You can go to the effects and presets panel. And if you don't see that, go to the window menu and choose effects and presets. And you can just twirl open the audio category, select an effect and drag it right onto the adjustment layer. Or you can also add the effect with the adjustment layer selected Go to the top menu, click on Effect, Audio, and I'm going to select Tone. So I'll just click, that adds it to the adjustment layer, and with the adjustment layer still selected, you can customize the effect in the Effect Controls panel. Tap the spacebar to preview the default tone effect. And it sounds like a tone. The best way you can learn what you can do with an effect is simply play around with the different values. So if I increase the frequency, tap the spacebar, I have a completely different tone. If you make a complete mess, all you have to do is click reset to get back to the default settings. So try the different options here. Try triangle, saw, kind of sounds like an organ, square. I'm going to choose white noise which sounds just like white noise. I'm going to add one more audio effect. So I'll select the adjustment layer, go back to the top menu, click on effect, audio, and this time I'm going to add modulator. So I'll click that. If I tap the space bar, we can hear what we have just by the default settings. See, it kind of sounds like a helicopter just by default. I'll change the modulation type to triangle. I'll change the modulation rate to 10. Modulation depth, I'm going to change that to 75, and I'll change amplitude modulation to 75%. I'll tap the space bar to preview. Sounds like a helicopter to me. And now let's create this telephone sound effect. First, the phone is dialing, then you've got a ringtone. And for that, we're going to be using animation presets. Drag the CTI to the beginning of the timeline create a new adjustment layer. So I'll right click new adjustment layer. I'll tap enter or return. I'm going to call this dial. Then go to the effects and presets panel, twirl open animation presets, twirl open presets. And there you will see there's actually a sound effects category, which you may not even know existed. So I'll twirl that open. Adjustment layer is selected. CTI is at the beginning of the timeline. I'm going to select the call Adobe sound effect. Just double click to apply it to the layer. Tap the space bar. We are now calling Adobe. Cool. You can customize the presets in the effect controls panel, just like we did with the effects. The main difference with presets is these are done for you recipes. The animations, the keyframes are included in the preset. I'm going to tap the letter U. That's going to reveal all keyframes and I'll place the CTI just past the last keyframes. I'm going to trim this layer. Now I could manually trim it by just dragging the ends or the keyboard shortcut, press option or alt in the right open bracket key. I'm going to add a new adjustment layer to place the ringing sound effect. So I'll just right click, go to new adjustment layer. I'll tap enter or return and rename this ringing. 
I'm going to trim that new adjustment layer at the end of where I just trimmed the last one. So I'll press Option or Alt. This time I'll tap the left open bracket key. That's going to trim everything to the left of the CTI. Then I'm going to go to that sound effects folder in the animation presets and I'm going to select ringing phone US. I can just double click. I'll drag the CTI back to the beginning, tap the space bar. So we'll be dialing. And now we'll wait for Adobe to answer. And that is your introduction to audio effects and sound effects presets in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.